What's going on, Team Bravo? It's your boy Bravo. It's your boy Mike, aka Bravo. Welcome back to the channel. Oh my god, Ghost Boy just smoked us. Is he gonna stop? Nope. We are, though. How to ride a sport bike. Well, step number one is you gotta go a little crazy. If you're not a little crazy and you're completely sane, you gotta go a little crazy. That's step one. You gotta know what you're getting into. But technically, how to do it. I hear from I'm, I'm a little older right so I hear from a lot of guys no oh, I went to a Harley I went to a bagger I don't want to be crouched over I mean I'm not I get it it's it's a it's a lean forward kind of body position and I wouldn't say it's crouched over unless you're talking about full tuck then yeah yeah you're gonna be you know like this laying forward on the bike but that's not really I don't know but your body position let's talk let's not talk about those guys let's talk about us guys who actually do ride or want to ride a sport bike so your body position I ride with balls of my feet that's my default riding position I'm and I'm in this video I'm just gonna work my way up from the bottom up right so you can see my position on the seat I'm sitting far back in the seat now I'm a taller guy I'm 6'2 so, and I'm not holding on with my with my hands I'm holding on with my legs and my heels, you know, I got my heels locked into the heel plates. My hands, very loose grip. I mean, you can see with both hands. You know, and generally, my hand position, right? So, covered feet, legs, holding the tank. That's what these knee pads are here for, so I can get a grip. And you don't have to be hanging or off the bike getting crazy lean angle in every single turn okay look I can be completely upright one-handed and just navigating this turn I want to cut to the inside I want to go to the outside I can do all that manipulate that safely with you know one hand so feet balls of the feet now we're gonna we're gonna modify that as we're riding so for this turn I would come out on the peg on this foot, I'd go to the heel on the other one, and I would slide my tush over, but you see how I changed my foot position, and I pointed my toe out, I brought my foot out on the towards the end of the peg, the last inch, so that's how, that's how that's done, you know, generally, in most conditions for myself. Being a taller guy, I slide back in the seat. Plus, I don't want to be crushing my nuts. There's no need to do that. Ouch! No, that's totally unnecessary. You know, to be up here, yeah, in a turn, but I'm not going to be straight on with it. And this bike doesn't have some crazy torque coming off the line. I got to be all the way up here. Uh, and, and this seat is shaved. It's a half inch race foam. This is the highest point. So that's the most com comfortable for me. Uh, to have this bike set up for fridge. Holding on with the knees, booties back, and then the end. So that's where like right here on my hand, on my pinky, that's my index. Oh, I missed that shift. That's my index right there. just gonna go up and exit um, yeah I'm way I'm way out here 
and that gives me the most leverage in a turn but I don't know just over the years you know my pinky wraps around the bar end and there's like this little raised part on the on the grip that goes in between these fingers like that so and then I, I run the clutch with two fingers you know I'm a two finger clutch guy just nice and easy so that's what I, that's what it looks like over here okay uh, you know from time to time I'll hit the back brake if I'm stopped but I never you I never engage the back brake when I'm stopping never I use engine brake and front brake only that's it I don't use the back I cover the back brake if I'm doing some wheelies and you know I'm not I'm not wheeling like I used to wheelie guys so you know there's, there's nothing to worry about there nothing to worry about I am ordering that cable though uh, so I can plug my my old hard drive in to my PC and just get you know I guess you'll I'll access the files like it's an external you know drive like an SD card or some shit all right so for this turn right butts off toes pointed out looking at where I want to go nice and easy probably looks decent you know we could rip a, a little wheelie but we got a bus we got we got some traffic light flow light traffic but traffic nonetheless so we're gonna pass on that one that's a pass. Just looking over the shoulder. Looks good. Notice the RPMs I'm running through the bike. You know what? We're actually going to stay. Get off right here. Look at how pretty the leaves are too. But I'm in second gear doing 70. 11,000 RPM. 12,000 R's gets me about 83. Give it a little bit of throttle there, you'll get your pops and bangs. It's just taking the slack out of the throttle. All right, set up for this turn. Heel on the outside, toe inside. My right elbow should be pointing down at the ground. My left elbow, um, forearm shoulder or inside of my elbow is uh, against the tank so Siri. See how quick I can just transition because it's habit. It's out of habit. Ideally, you want to be able to make that transition consistently. And look, I'm no pro racer or anything like that. Not even remotely close. This is what I'm doing on the street. And if you have some tips for me, I'm all for hearing them. This is what I've like done my research, taught myself, applied, and I'm just deciding to share with you guys. So again, like that default riding position, right? I'm on a 30 mile an hour road. I'm in second gear. I could just, I could click up. Just cut those R's a little. turn like this I don't need to really do anything just a little pull right if our counter steering is always pushing and I'm one hand in it then I'm gonna be pulling if I'm making a left hand turn my left hands off right throttle only then I'm gonna pull that throttle to go to the left I'm gonna push and go to the right pull push 
push, pull, push, pull. Usually you'd want two hands going through an intersection. Especially in third year. Need to be able to hit, you know, maybe two down in a rev match. I could do that. Oh, you want to see it? Be like that. Let's try it again. Okay, so we're doing what? 35, 36, car pulls out. You gotta just, you have to delay until that, you have to delay your rev match until your second click down. I don't know if there's any validity to that technique, if certain times you're gonna need it. I'm not sure I'd put it on the uh, high priority list of things to learn on how to ride a sport bike. I'm trying to give you, you know, some nuggets here. That'll just help you get out there to try different things. That's our mark. our mark, baby! How was that one? I was looking for you. I'm like, gonna, I tried to time it and I did. I timed it perfect. I wanted to do a wheelie for you. That was good? It's just like how you can do a nice little romantic gesture when you have a relationship that was established and built on the foundation of riding motorcycles. Here we are almost 20 years later doing it together. Which is awesome. Right? Toes out, outside. And then we're just going to practice. You know, we... Our right hand turns, look at our grip is different, right? That's more of the grip on a right hand turn. And you're just gonna get halfway off that seat, right? I just wanna practice the techniques. Just practice the techniques. See, I'd have done another wheelie here, however, the school bus, you know, the school bus. I might have to stop. We can do one after this turn, I guess. All right, set up for the turn. Then we're gonna dive in, maybe work on our line. Right? There's the line for the turn. can't wheelie into that. I don't know, that wheelie was all right. That was all right. I've seen worse. Let's just say I've seen worse. Clutch up felt good though. Felt good. All right, let's do it. Come on, love.
hell is this guy doing? Switch feet. Put. See, you don't know what's going on. Who knows? I mean, fucking bullets start flying or some shit. You want to stay in gear. Put your right foot down so you could just kick that kickstand. That'll shut your bike off. Don't worry about any of that. And you can dive out of the way or whatever. Or go save the day. Well, I don't know. But have a little situational awareness. Funny thing, we've we've been accused of not having any of that. But I'd say we we're probably at or above average. Like a good spot. 